Hello and welcome to another Dr. Spotfire Quick Tips video. My name is Jose Luis Aguirre from Tipco and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a checkbox property control and a radio button property control. So here in this visualization I have my radio button property control on the top left and some checkbox on the top right. So if I check one of these options I can see the grid lines or I can see the zoom slider I can turn them on and off. For my radio button, I can only select one of these options, so I can go here and click maybe to the next uh, visualiz visualization, this option, click another option, and then my visualization is changed to a bar chart or something else. So here again, I have my checkboxes, and what I'm, what's happening here is I create a Boolean document property, and then I associate that document property with a script. The script is going to take effect when the document property changes and it's going to change the aspects of the visualization. In this case, it's going to turn on or off the grid lines depending on the state of the document property. And the last step is to create a calculated value that is going to act as the property control. So it's going to change the state of the Boolean document property when it's clicked. It consists of a custom expression. So when the document property is true, it's going to render this X. And when it's not, it's going to render this. The script associated with that calculated value is going to just change the state of my document property value. And here's some example of the implementation. When I click this uh, calculated value, it turns to yes or no. Here I can check it to, um, it's a different text. I can also use emojis to make it look more like a checkbox. And with a little bit of CSS, I can also change this to a switch. The radio button works pretty much as the checkboxes. Here I have another implementation where I can show or hide the labels of my visualization. I can turn only when something is selected or I can turn them off completely. So how does this work? The same, I'm going to create a document property for each option. It's a Boolean document property. And then I am going to associate that document property with a script. So when the document property changes, any of these document properties changes, it's going to trigger this script. And this, in, in this case, it's just going to uh, select the, the, the labels visibility. So now um, the next step is to create, again, a calculated value with the same custom expression. But now the difference is that the script associated with this calculated value when clicked is going to turn off all the volume document properties except the one that we are passing as a parameter. This DP is a script parameter and this is how it works. But in this case, I'm using emojis that you can find on the internet uh, very easily. So let me walk you through on how this is done. Let's do this um, grid checkbox so you can have a feel on how it's done step by step. So the very first thing is to create a checkbox a Boolean document property. So I go to my file document properties and create a property called CD. It's going to be a Boolean document property. I click OK and now I have that. The next step is to create a script associated with that document property. I forgot to uh, copy paste for it to, for ease, to, to make it easier. So I'm going to do that now and go back to my document properties and associate to my checkbox document property. So when the document property changes, it's going to run the following script that I'm going to create. I'm going to call it show hide grid lines. I'm pasting the code and I'm going to test it, run, and I have a but, oh, I need to pass a script parameter, in this case, my visualization. So I am going to add my visualization. It's going to be this uh, demo visualization under my walkthrough page. Click OK, run it, and now, now it's done. If I try to run it again, it's nothing going to happen because the document property hasn't changed. So now I'm going to do that. I'm going to create the property control to control that property and change its value. In order to do that, I need to create a calculated value. So I am going to add a text area because that's where calculated values live. And I'm going to edit this text area and add this calculated value. So the calculated value is going to be this custom expression that I have. I already have on my history uh, checkbox. I am using this symbol when it's on and a uh, blank where, where, when it's false. So click OK. Now the next step is to uh, add an action. The action is gonna trigger a script that is going to change the document properties value. So I am going to create a new script that is going to be called uh, not CD or not checkbox. So it's document properties checkbox. It's 
not my document property checkbox. So if I click now, I can see that it's changing the document property and if you see in the background, it's also changing, but this should happen with the onclick event. Let's try that. Let me save it so I can see my checkbox. It's very tiny, but I can change the, the format and increase the size a little bit, maybe 14. And I can also add something like show grid or grid lines. Click save and now I am done. And that's it. Now I, um, you can try the same with the radio button. Let me know if you are successful. If not, uh, don't forget to comment, uh, subscribe and follow for more quick tip videos. Thank you.